Hello and welcome to the final episode of Misery Plays World Scariest Police Chasers. We are doing the free patrol because we have been successful with the mission. Um, we've got a choice of headquarters or the beach. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's. Well, we started at headquarters before, particularly when we had to drive that terrible, terrible uh, bomb vehicle. Let's try the beach. Time of day. Um, I guess we could do some night time or during the day. Let's do 3 p.m. Maybe they'll we'll have people speeding through school zones. We'll get to pull them over. Clear, cloudy, rainy, thunder. I'm going to do clear just because I don't really like the rain effects on this game. I think they're a bit crap. I mean, it doesn't affect the way the cars drive anyway. Just doesn't look very good. Choose our vehicle the standard sedan, the SUV, an undercover saloon, and another undercover saloon. I don't think I've driven this. What is that meant to be? Is that like supposed to be a Dodge or something? I'm not American, I don't really know American cars. We'll try this. Oh, the other cars have all vanished. Do we have weapons? We have a gun, that's it. Alright, well, let's, um... I guess we just sort of drive around, really. No Sheriff John Bunnell. Um... Well, we're now heading oh. east on West Beach Boulevard. Hold up, back up, back Go up, get him. back up, back up. Lights and siren. We have a suspect to chase. I have no idea why. Oh, we just crashed immediately. That's not good. Vehicle's been reported stolen, I think I just heard them say. Well, he's being very reckless, this guy. Um, you gonna, you gonna stop, mate? Yo. There we go. Okay. Got him. Ooh. <laughs> I just drove straight into him. My sedan is wrecked already. That was close. Wait, which vehicle's unregistered? Did I just drive through a pole? I did, didn't I? I just drove through a pole. If if you're going to comment that I'm driving really recklessly for a cop just on patrol, you've never seen cops just on patrol. We are in pursuit. You're under arrest for having been obeying the posted speed limit and all of that. Yes. That, that's it. How dare you do the right Got thing. Him. I mean, apparently I got him. I, we haven't gotten out and actually arrested him. We're just sort of, we're just saying, yep, we got him. Uh, how do you get onto the freeway? Let's go this way. I don't care if I'm going the wrong way onto the freeway. I'm going this way. I'm a cop. I can do whatever I want. There we go. Onto the freeway. I don't, I don't really know where I'm driving. I'm just sort of driving around. We're now heading south on West We're gonna lose him. There's no way we can keep up. Is he gonna take the exit? No. We lost him. I'm gonna keep going this way because I want to know what's over this bridge. What is over this bridge anyway? City map. I don't know. We're gonna go and find out. I'm sure I've been over this bridge before. But Control, we're now let's be realistic. Um, I don't know if you've ever sped in uh, real life whilst on the freeway. If they're on the other side of the freeway, freeway, they're not going to 
Don't let him get away. Suddenly turn around and go after you. What are you doing? Are you drunk? That must be it. You are you are clearly drunk, my good sir. You're drunk at 3 p.m. There's a reason why you're getting arrested. I mean, being drunk like that, and kids have just come out of school, and you're gonna end up causing huge you know, problems. That's a we crash. Clearly I'm the one who's drunk. That's what's happened there. We apprehended that other guy and stole all his booze. There we go. Uh, it seems like, yeah, you're just going to kind of have a lot of fairly easy police chases. I want to go down that dead end. I know it's a dead end, but I want to see what's down there. Uh, can we get that guy? He's, he just drove off the road. Oh, this must be the prison. Okay. Yeah, that must be the prison. Oh, well that was where we, um, our, our friend escaped. We are in pursuit. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. He did a U-turn. Stop! In the name of the law. You will be our fifth bad guy for it. Are we supposed to catch a certain number? Is it like you catch ten and you win or something? Dude, you just drove into that. This guy must be drunk as well. Is everybody drunk? Uh, this this escape is not going well for you. Please stop. Got him. I still haven't been able to check out all the things that are around here. Because I went there to where the prison was. Um, what I didn't do was check out what's down here. This way then. We are in pursuit. Yes, we're pursuing you because you were driving on the correct side of the road and we nearly crashed into you. How dare you be a law abiding citizen? You know, everyone I've chased now has been trying to go up this way. I think the game wants us to go up this way, so we'll try that. Let's see what happens if we go up here. You are a terrible driver, my good sir. I mean, you're making me look good. Okay, maybe not. What are you doing? What is the objective here? You are insane! Got him! Uh, we're just, we're gonna go this way. Apparently the game wants us to go this way. So let's just see what's over here. Um... Our, our car is not looking good. Do, 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 let's see. Oh, this is the tunnel. Yeah, so this is the tunnel where we chase that guy through. We are in pursuit. What? You just drove into a central divider all on your own, mate. I mean, should we be pursuing him? Maybe his brakes failed, like in that movie Runaway Car, and he's like... Well, he's actually smarter than the people in that movie, where it's like, Oh, we'll actually try stopping the car on the barrier. Ooh, that could have gone badly wrong. For me, I mean, it went badly wrong for him, but you know. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's very bad. Come on, police car. 
Control, we're now heading east on Interstate 112. Alright, we almost got him. We lost him. Oh, not really. I mean, what exit is he going to take? You tell me what exit he'll take. He's still on this road. Um, the game just froze. Uh, stand by, we are experiencing technical difficulties and will resume normal service now. Normal service is back. Um, yeah, I just had to load up. The game again. We are in pursuit. But we're straight into a chase. I mean, you just did a crime right in front of a police station. I don't think you have much of a brain. Do you? Not really. Alright, we can stop now. There we go. Alright, where are we now? So we started over there before. Now we're here, so let's. Head east, see what happens. Oh, I remember this road. This is where we had to yeah, go to the final bomb in that uh, terrible, terrible vehicle. Control, we're now that heading east in Eastgate Tunnel. Ooh, we are in you just cut off a cop car, mate. You are under arrest for that. We might even start opening fire on you for doing such a reckless thing. Got there you go. Don't don't cut off police cars. They they don't like it. Not really. Let's go down this way. I haven't gone down this road, I don't think. I may have. I don't think I have. Control, we're now heading um, south on Talbert Street. That was a sensible braking maneuver. I think if I go over these jumps, I take damage. Yep, I do. Hey, no jumps then. Don't let him get away. You're under arrest for having brakes. I guess. I don't know. I didn't see him do anything wrong. Maybe he doesn't have, like, maybe he's got kids in the back, but they're not secure. You know? Like, he hasn't, he hasn't put in a, uh, proper child safety seat, so, you know, we saw the kids jumping around in the back seat, and we're like, oh, we're gonna go arrest that guy. That would, that would actually make sense, that one would be fair. After all, you gotta keep your kids safe. Just saying that Control, we're I, now heading you know, east on Ashland Bay Bridge. It's the end of school. Go get him. Well, this is just profiling. I mean, we're just getting him because he's got a van. We think he's a kidnapper. Stop kidnapping people. I don't know. Control, I mean, we're now heading east. Kidnap on maybe Ashland a. Street. I have always loved Chinatown. Got him. That's nice. I I guessing he was like maybe. I don't know what we thought he'd kidnap, but it must have been something. Maybe he kidnapped somebody's puppy. And then they, you know, we're like, we have to stop him before it goes all John Wick. Control, we're now heading east on Carson Street. Control, we're now heading north on Euclid Street. Thanks for the update. Don't let him get away! Oh. Uh. Don't know? Uh, is this guy, maybe he's just funny looking, so we're like... Got him. Well, he's not a very good driver anyway, I mean, he drove straight into a uh, roadwork barrier. And so somewhere around here, I think I had to chase a... I had to whoops, Don't let him get lose away. a van a fair bit in that. Oh. Wheelie! 
That's not good. I think we're gonna lose this guy. Maybe. I don't know. Are we chasing the taxi? On Interstate 112. We lost him. Uh, I don't want to go up there. Just gonna back up on the freeway because that's totally normal. There we go. Because I think I still want to keep heading east. I just drove into a wall. No wait, no I didn't. I will cut that and you will not see it. We have reached the suburb. Don't let him get away. I mean, I think I just saw a drug deal, that's what that was. That's why we're having to catch him. He bought some drugs, man. I want some drugs. Now you're under arrest for your drugness. I mean, for a guy that just bought drugs, he's driving pretty well. Probably about one of the best driving I've, drivers I've seen. Ooh, dirt road, okay. This is, uh... This is gonna be good. I'm just gonna ease off a little bit there. Through, oh, through that tunnel. Oh no, I've crashed. I've put a fair bit of damage on my... I'm gonna call it a dodge. Maybe a dodge intrepid or something. Almost got in. I'm just waiting for the train to come the other way and, you know, finish the job. Hey! Stop escaping! I want those drugs! Got it. There we go. Um, now we did have to drive at the police SUV down here one time, oh, uh, in one of our training missions, I think it was. But, um, uh, well, now we just completed that in a black Dodge sedan. Well, what was the Dodge in the Blues Brothers? Monaco, I think. Dodge Monaco. I don't know anything about whether those were good cars or not, but certainly look pretty good in the movie. Oh, that was a bit of a silly film. What am I saying? A bit. That was a very silly film, but God, oh, it was fun. Police Academy. Well, we've already been here carry on, because there's not going to be any people to chase in there. Don't let him get away. I just graduated from the academy, and I've only got five days left to retirement, so you will stop. That's an ambulance. Joel, we're now heading north on Foster Road. I hope there's no one coming head on, because, you know, Trying to steer whilst the car's doing jumps is not going to end well. Somebody's heavily armed and making a run for it. Is that this guy? Is that what you're all about? Oh, there's a bus. Try not to hit that. I think we're going to have this guy. Wait. Have you noticed how much slower it takes for the meter to fill up compared to right when we the first couple cars that we have to catch. Alright, we're back on this freeway again. Ooh, easy now, mate. The driving's getting better. I'm sure he will stop at some... Okay, the driving was getting better. That was pretty poor. Now he's confused. 
Control, we're now nope. heading north on Interstate 112. You would be confused, mate. You think you're Australian right now? Maybe that's why we're catching him. We're, we're, we're having to chase him because he's Australian. And, um, you know, we just don't like him. Got him! There we go. Alright, that's seven. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go past you. Oh, I just crashed. Don't let him get away. Hey, we reached the airport. Can't wait to get some time off. That's nice. Well, that wasn't good. That's not good. Oh, that was a big one. Stop crashing into me. I'm just, I'm just gonna go over here. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different result. Just thought I'd point that out. Not sure why that phrase came to mind, but um, Got it. yeah, it did. How weird. That was <laughs> just weird. But hey, that's number eight, I think, caught. I didn't really check the count. Let's see what happens when we reach ten. Go get him! You are under arrest because well I mean that that was just a really bad U-turn. Please stop. Also, I think you've got like a whole bunch of like illegal pornography in your car. I don't know why you just seem like the type. After all, you were going to the airport. Control, we're now heading And you need something to do on the plane. Bridge. So, yeah, I'm gonna say, you know, we have weird porn. Kind of driving in a straight line, really. Not a particularly hard chase. I'll just point out if you are planning on going into a you know high speed police chase, maybe don't just try driving in a straight line. Because all they have to do is be able to see you and say, Yeah, that's where he is. Um we'll have the roadblock uh, come up in front of you and um get caught. Weaving, that's where it's at. If you weave, it's harder for them to maintain sight. And don't try running from the cops in the pickup truck. Pickup trucks aren't fast. So they will catch you. You are going to run from the cops. Use a fast car like a Corvette. After all, we all saw what happened to that guy who ran from the cops on World's fastest police chase. I think the episode was, or craziest, or something. Yeah, they um. Got him. There you go. That guy was successful. I mean, he didn't get away, but he survived the crash, and that's what matters crashed at something like 120 miles an hour. Which is quite a good effort really. I have no idea where I am now. Don't let him get away! But this is number 10. Let's see if we get some sort of bonus once we get him. It would be nice. Be like, you caught him here. You have unlocked the vehicle. 
Actually, the game did say that I unlocked the car. It said I unlocked the news van. I didn't see any news van to choose. So, I don't know what it's on about. Because it said I unlocked it for use in free patrol. And, well, you saw the choice of car we had. We had four cars. Police cruiser, police SUV, brown undercover van, and this Dodge sort of vehicle. Ooh, don't hit me! Alright, we have... I'm pretty close to catching number 10. I don't even know what- why am I chasing this guy again? Oh, that's right, he's a better driver than me. How dare you outdrive the police! Nah, I think in all seriousness- whoops. We've had to kitch to chase this guy because- Got him! Um, I don't know. What do you look like, like you've done? I'm gonna say, you know, he was having an affair. That's why we're catching him. Catching him. Uh, we just did 10 and did not unlock anything. That's... Well, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. Uh, I just hit a handbrake turn. I was about to go the other way. Go get him! I think we're gonna lose this guy. Oh no, he drove into a... What is that? Is that an A rail or something above us? L train. L, yeah, elevated train. EL. Well, he crashed into the, to the supporting pillar for the L train. Do you mind telling me what the difference in sound between a normal train and an elevated train is? The fugitive. I think we've lost him. Yeah, we lost him. Oh well, that's too bad. And I think this is a good time to end today's episode. Um, Control, we're now heading well, east on what, Orange Street. That is what the free patrol is like. You just kind of drive around, catch people for, well, whatever crime you choose to make up for. Speeding, unsafe vehicles, or, you know, we just are in pursuit. being a better driver than you. Uh, overall, the game, look, it's, it's not, you know, particularly good. But we're now heading east on Orange Street. It's also not a bad game. If you enjoy listening to Sheriff John Bunnell, then I would definitely say give it a go. Um, if you've never really watched Wells Wildest Police videos, you probably won't enjoy this because I mean there are a lot of games that are better to actually play than this one and look better. Um, and I guess just also make a bit more sense, you know, I mean, if you are... If, if you've wrecked the bad guy's car, but wrecked your own at the same time, it says you failed the mission, and... Oh, I mean, it doesn't really make sense, not in real life, anyway. But yeah, the game... Worth a go, if you enjoy the... World's Wildest Police videos and listening to... John do his shtick. Otherwise, it wouldn't be for you. I'm gonna see if I can catch this guy just to end it. Control, we're now heading north on I mean, I am right bridge. behind him, so hopefully I can catch him. I think the guy is planning on stopping though. Um, as I've said before, the sounds aren't too good. They get a bit boring and 
repetitive and droning, particularly the engine if I turn the lights off. Is, you can hear it. It's not particularly good. Um, there's also not really other sounds to try and make the environment feel more interesting. Controls. For the police car, it's okay, you can deal with it, but... Then there's that van, that the bomb van that was absolutely awful. I think I've lost this guy. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm just going to wait till it says that I've lost him. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully we can end catching him. That would be good. I mean, I'm right behind him. Come on, guy. Control, Just give up. We're now heading west on Interstate 112. There it is. We've got him now. Thank you very much for watching this episode and indeed this series. This is where we are ending um, with a destroyed car because why not? Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And, well, I hope to see you in one of the other series that are on my channel. But that is it from me, so thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.